Hey there, welcome back folks. Um, today I'm gonna re-attempt to open a beer bottle using a induction heater, the one shown here, which can go up to three or four kilowatts. It's pretty powerful. I have some beer here and I'm gonna try and pop these caps with this induction heater. On my last video, the attempt failed I think it had something to do with the fact that I haven't shaken the bottles first. Basically, I ended up just melting holes in the caps. They ended up with nasty, smoky, metallic beer, so it didn't really work that well. So today, what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and shake them and then heat them up very quickly to see if the caps will pop off. Let me just tell you a little bit about induction heaters just in case you don't know what they are. An induction heater consists of a coil such as this one, consisting of a few thick turns of copper wire. Very high electrical currents are generated in this coil and that's why it needs to be so thick. And also it is water cooled. Now the, the currents are at very high frequency. So what these high frequency currents do, which go backwards and forwards through the coil, in this tank circuit, what these currents do is that they will produce high magnetic fields that are going up and then down, then up and down. Those alternating magnetic fields induce secondary currents in anything metallic, particularly objects that are made of ferrous metal, such as beer, beer bottle caps. These secondary currents produce heat and the heat can melt the metal. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and have round number two. All right, I'm gonna shake this bottle of beer and see what happens when we put it in the induction coil. Giving it a good shake here. Let's turn up the current to the induction coil. Here it goes. No luck. Let's try another one. Second fail. Failed again. I don't think it works. Uh, opinions, suggestions, but this was a fun experiment with an induction heater. And uh, do appreciate you checking in on this. Please come back for more videos.